Ba ba da ba 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 da ba. Ha ha, friends! Guess what? We are so excited about today's show to celebrate Ella Jenkins. Oh man, oh man! Sixty years and more of music. When today we got special guests Pierce Prelon and Tim Barrett, who's putting together the Ella Jenkins Rule Sing a Song documentary. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and let's see Ella do her thing. This mirror Mac has been around a long time, and even when I was a child, they were singing it. And so I'm glad that you're singing but because you, uh, I made up a lot of the lyrics. Okay, it's Miss Mary, all dressed in, Miss Silver, all down here, she asked her for 15, to see me, they jumped up, they jumped so they touched up, and they never came back. Jenkins recorded uh, recently. Oh man, Fred Cook and the band, Tim Ferry, who's working on the documentary. Oh man, that was unreleased footage until now. Oh, I can't wait for the full documentary. Well, let's get rolling. Let's get rolling to uh, keep the song going. Let's keep playing. Friends, I need you to share with me a color. Hey, Brody, let's go to you first. Uh, what color should we, uh, should we continue with as we sing Miss Mary Mac? Um, purple. Purple! Okay, ready? Miss Mary, purple, 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 all dressed in purple, purple, purple with silver buttons, 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 all on her schmurple. <laughs> I, I had to make up a rhyme for purple. So uh, a schmurple, you know what that is? It, it's a really cool uh, piece of clothing that, um, that I made up just now. <laughs> okay, okay, friends, share with us more colors. Oh, here I go, blue! Okay, Miss Mary, blue. Moo, moo, all dressed in blue, 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 with silver buttons, 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 all on her shoe, shoe, shoe. <laughs> this is so fun. There's so many ways to play with a song. And now Jenkins does it so delightfully. Call and response, repeat after me, echoes, percussion, wordplay, revising the verses. Oh my. Friends, let's do, uh, let's do another color. Man, I can, I can just keep going all day to all green. Hey, Joe. Okay, ready? Miss Mary, mean, 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 all dressed in green, 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 with silver buttons, buttons, buttons. I need a rhyme for green. Um, sheen, lean, oh, all over the machine. <laughs> He's driving a machine. Just like, uh, <laughs> Got some silver buttons on my green machine. Oh, oh that's where that rhyme even came from, I think. <laughs> oh, man, I could keep going. But, friends, we got so much in this show. Let's go see what Moby's got to share with us today. <laughs> Ella Jenkins is often known as the first lady of children's music because she was the first musical performer to teach creative, interactive music for children. Ella's family moved a lot when she was a little girl. She learned new rhymes and games in each new neighborhood that she lived in. As Ella started teaching and sharing music with others, she continued to learn even more songs and games everywhere she went. For more than 60 years, Ella Jenkins has been singing, learning, teaching, and playing music and sharing culture with children all over the world. Thank you, Ella. We love you. 
We admire you. We're so happy and grateful for you, Ella. Ella. Bam, bam, bam. Mic check, mic check, check one, two, three, four. Uh, over an audio booth, how are we sounding? Is that uh, is that an improvement? Oh, good friends. Oh man, there's nothing like a live concert yeah. or a live show where your microphone. But you know what? The show must go on. But we got it fixed. Over and out. Okay, great. Um, friends, it's time for today's three sentence story. Beginning, middle, end, and the three words come from you. That's right, friends. Let's write a story. Tell us uh, a person, place, or thing. We love nouns for this little game. In the first sentence, I set the scene. In the second sentence, there is a problem. Oh, man. But don't worry, friends, because in the third sentence, there is a solution. Mm -hmm. We never know where these stories may take us. In the first scene, the first sentence, we get to know the characters, the environment. Oh, no, but then the conflict. But there's always a solution, friends. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where today's story takes us. Maybe we go to a concert. Maybe. Oh, yes, indeed. Hey, John. Ella. I love it. Okay, first word. Ella. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to set. Okay. I was so excited when I woke up because I was on our way to an Ella Jenkins concert. <laughs> oh no, there's going to be a problem? No! Okay, we'll get through it, friends. Oh, hey, Sibley, car. Okay, oh, I got just the idea. Okay, here we go, friends. I woke up this morning and I was so excited because we were on our way to an Ella Jenkins concert. We were halfway there when our car went... <laughs> Friends, how do we get to the concert on time? What do we do? Oh, no. We're sitting in our car. We're singing songs. We're singing the song. Oh, pumpkin pie. <laughs> I love it. Okay, pumpkin pie is the solution. <laughs> pumpkin, pumpkin pie can save a lot of things. Hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I woke up this morning and I was so excited because we were on our way to an Ella Jenkins concert. We were halfway there when the car went. Oh no. We looked up in the sky. A giant pumpkin pie was flying by, scooped us up, and plopped us down right in the front row. How did that happen? How did the pumpkin pie have connections to the front row? Oh, oh, oh. I like this. It's kind of, I can see this as like kind of a spaceship kind of pumpkin pie. Like maybe, wait a minute. Was it a pumpkin pie? Or, oh, I don't know. Maybe it was a misunderstanding. I don't know if it was a pumpkin pie or something else. I do not know, friends. But we know we got to the concert and it was amazing. Friends. We're going to go to Brody in the Granville Women's Lab to see what he's got going for today's Women's Pumpkin Pie to the rescue. Hi, Brody. Jumbo with me, Jumbo friends. Oh, Jumbo, indeed. Oh, have you ever got rescued by a pumpkin pie in the sky? No. Think it could really happen? <laughs> I don't know. If people put enough science into it. Oh. I like the way you think. Totally, man. Totally. <laughs> All right. So what have you got rolling for today's women's? So I have <gasps> the pie saving you to go to the Ella Jenkins oh, uh, concert. It looks so good. I love the way the way you chose that pie. It's like the piece of pie is like a hand coming down and scooping us <laughs> up. And we're like, woo. And look at that. The car's like, no. You even got the sound I made. <laughs> coming right out of the hood. And there's Ella just like, hey, guys. Jumbo. Uh -huh. All right, friends at home, if you have any ideas for something we could add. What do you think, Brody? Any thoughts we could add more, more people in the car? Because there's lots of us going to the concert. Maybe a ninja. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Ninjas Hi. love Ella Jenkins. Everybody loves Ella Jenkins. Oh, a bus. Bus. Okay. Bus. 
All right, there's a bus. Oh, because every everybody's on the way to the concert. Yeah, because so now bus loads. more people to it. Oh, I love it. Let's do it. Oh, no, the bus is going the wrong way. Brody, <clears throat> Brody, turn the bus. The bus is going the wrong way. Okay, okay, I'm nervous. Okay, Whew, I feel a lot better. Okay, man. Okay, so we got the concert. Um, maybe add more people. Uh, friends at home. Um, what do we say? The bus and... Um, um what was another one i just missed one what was it um a ninja oh you said ninja that's what i forgot yeah tell you what if you want to keep working on it and we'll see i would love to come back to you later and just see whatever changes you add to the image who's on the bus anything else on the background the trees the sky you decide how far you want to go all right so we'll check back with you brody see what you got later <laughs> friends today for language explorers we get to find out how to say today's words in Swahili. Mr. Brad is here today, and I can't wait to find out. <laughs> hey, Mr. Brad. Hi, Weemi. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great. Brody beat you to it with Jumbo. He did, which is wonderful. I, I love, love to, to hear other people speaking Swahili. That's great. I love it, indeed. And I am so excited about our focus on Ella Jenkins today. She is such a wonderful singer who's spreading all kinds of varieties of music and culture. And she's just so great, Weemi. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, man. So tell us, what, uh, what do you have for the words today? <laughs> so the first word is Ella. So it's uh, an identical uh, translation, Ella. Perfect. Ella is Ella. Our next one is car. Gari. 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 Uh, next one is pumpkin pie. Whoa. Andazi ya boga. Andazi ya boga. Nice. So is the first part andozi? Is that pumpkin or is that pie? The andazi would be uh, pie. Gotcha. So, uh, boga is uh, pumpkin. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice, man. I love it. Hey, how do you say music in Swahili? Uh, muziki. Oh, that's right. I think you taught me that before. I may have. Muziki. So, I could say, Ella Jenkins ni mwimbaji ya muziki tamu sana. So what I just said is Ella Jenkins is a musician uh, or plays beautiful music. I hear you. I agree. Mm -hmm. Later in the show, we're going to share some of our favorite songs. Ooh, I will yeah. be excited to share mine with you, Weemi. Do you have one in mind already? Oh, yeah, I do. I'm not going to. I don't, Yeah, we got to wait till later. <laughs> but let me ask you this. When you were growing up, do you have any musical memories? Oh, so many musical memories. Um, where I grew up, they have some different kinds of instruments than we have here. Sometime I should uh, bring photos or even see if I could borrow from my parents some of those different kinds of instruments because they're really interesting. It would be fun to show you guys some of them. That would be so cool. Let's plan on it. Yeah. Yeah. That'd All be right. Good. Let's We'll see you later in the show, Brad. <laughs> Guess what, friends? Oh, man, in this tribute to Ella Jenkins today, we're singing songs, we're creating. And guess what? Pierce Freelon is here with us today. <laughs> Hi, Pierce. Hey, Weemy, how you doing? I'm great. I'm great. Now, first, I got to tell you, I'm a fan of you, and you're a fan of Ella. So, first, tell our friends at home more about you. Well, I'm a children's music artist. I'm a member of Durham City Council, and I am a huge fan of your show. And guess what? When, uh, when you told the story earlier about the pumpkin pie bringing you to the Ella Jenkins show, I was looking at your head and I said, you know, your head kind of looks like an upside down pumpkin pie. Uh, it, it does. It's <laughs> like the tin and your skin is kind of pumpkin colored. So that that's cool. I love it. I love it. That's so fun. Oh, so you've been making music and um, tell us more about your particular music and approach to music. Oh yeah. Well, I'm inspired by people like Ella Jenkins. And did you ever, do you remember the show, Mr. Rogers? 
Of course. Yeah, Fred Rogers is another big inspiration of mine. And uh, I, I just like to make music that makes kids think, that makes them uh, think about community, think about family, and think about being creative. I love it, man. We got a lot in common. Now, yeah, we you've do. got some records behind you, right? Ooh, I sure do. Check this out. So you, right behind me is my, is my bookcase. And okay. here I have some vinyl records. These, this is what uh, old people <laughs> used to listen to music <laughs> way back in the day. And when I was growing up, we used tapes and CDs. But way back before then, uh, people listened to records, which were these big discs with music on it. This is an Ella Jenkins record from guess what year? This was 1957. Whoa, Ella Jenkins, so, so many cool. years ago. Do you want to see wow. one? Yeah, how, I, I'm, I'm, they spin in a circle, right? And there's something that goes down and, and we hear the sound. They oh, sure do. Yeah. So here's the record. You see those little lines and yeah. uh, right here between the, the oh, black yeah. disc. So I'm going to put mm -hmm. this down over here on my record player. Okay. And watch what happens. There's a, a little diamond on the end of this needle. And when I bring it down. Okay. Oh. I hear it. It makes beautiful music. And that just comes right off that vinyl plastic record? Yeah, this is uh this is how they used to make music. It's a sound wave is kind of captured onto this vinyl disc. It's a type of plastic. And this is a song from, you know, over 50 years ago. And it still plays so, right off that record. It still plays. Wow. She talks it's talking about trees, eucalyptus trees, pine trees, all types of wonderful trees. So that's a, you know, nowadays kids can listen to music on YouTube, but back in the day they needed these big old circular discs to listen to music. That is so cool. Oh, it's so cool. Oh yeah, what city? I know, but what city are you based out of? Oh, I'm based in Durham, North Carolina. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Hey, so you were inspired, you told us, by Ella Jenkins, and you've got a lot of songs you've made. W will you share something today for us? Absolutely. I have a song uh, that I'm going to sing, which is really inspired by Ella Jenkins, and it's in the language Swahili, which is a language that I studied when I was in college, and it teaches kids how to count to 10 in Kiswahili. Do you want to try it with me? Yeah. Okay, so you, we, me, and everyone at home, just repeat after me. Okay. Moja. Moja. Mbili. Mbili. Tatu. Tatu. Ne. Ne. Tano. Tano. Sita. Sita. Saba. Saba. Nane. Nane. Tisa. Tisa. Kumi. Kumi. Okay, Wimi, you got a nice singing voice. So now I'm going to do it a little bit faster. It goes, oh, moja mbili tatu ne tano sita sabanane tisa kumi moja mbili tatu ne tano sita sabanane tisa kumi and that's how you count to 10 in Kiswahili. Let's oh, go. That was so cool. I love the rhythm, the <laughs> feel, the flow. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that sounds so good. And I enjoy all your songs. And I know you've got a variety of styles and approach and influences. And yeah, just Ella. Oh, that was such a cool uh, tribute because I think Ella would really like that song, right? Yeah, Ella has a song where she teaches kids uh, how to count in Swahili as well. So she was a big inspiration for that song. And it appears on my album, Black to the Future. You can go check it out. I don't have a vinyl record of it, but you can find it on, you know, YouTube and Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you listen. I love it. I've been listening. And um, I like the song with your daughter about uh, Daddy, Will You Braid My Hair. That's oh, awesome. yeah. Daddy, Will You Braid My Hair. For everyone out there who's ever done a braid i've got locks so i don't braid anymore but we have lots of cool hairstyles and so we want to celebrate all of them i love it i love it hey I love, um, and right by now, the way I, new... I, I really like your spiral hairstyle by the way very oh. very fashionable <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
things. I wonder if, if I like thinking of the pumpkin pie, maybe this is like um to spin the cool whip around. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, speaking of you and your daughter, you've got a book, uh, right? I Tell do. Us when it's coming. It's, got, it's coming soon. It's yes, coming. on Father's Day of 2020, my book Daddy Daughter Day is coming out. So this is me and my daughter Stella, and it kind of follows us through uh, kind of a day in the life. And this is the cover of the book. Uh, so I hope you check it out. Um, it'll be published on a Little Brown Books, and there's the cover. Here we are playing oh, basketball. Man. We're we're meditating, we're making smoothies, we're uh, using our imaginations, we're going to rallies and uh, doing hopscotch, all types of fun daddy-daughter activities. I love it. I love it. So cool, Pierce. Well, hey, we're going to play some games in a little bit. Can you cool. stick around? I will stick around like a cool whip on an upside-down <laughs> pumpkin pie. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Pierce. We'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> well, guess what, friends? Our friend Sibley is here with today's Laughing with Sibley. What do you call a cow who plays the trumpet? Hmm, um, I don't know. A musician. <laughs> Did you catch the reference to Ella Jenkins? Think about it. Think about it. Hmm. <laughs> musician. You know, I'm still thinking about that one, Sibley. I am. Maybe I'm missing something. I th oh, you. Ooh. I might know, I might know. But guess what? Friends, right now, we love books and we love music. It's time for today's Check Out This Album. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Hi, Wimmy. Oh, man. Okay, so a couple things right off the get-go. Sibley, I don't, he said um, musician. I think... I think, are you thinking what I'm thinking? One of the album titles? Well, Ella has a song called Did oh. You Feed My Cow? That that she yeah. likes to perform. So <laughs> that's right, right up there. Was, was that it, Sibley? Yeah, that, that was my big <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sibley. <laughs> He's funny. Hey, Tim, you're producing a documentary uh, all about Ella Jenkins. So first, tell us about you and how you started making this, this documentary. I am, Wimmy. Well, I, I've been working closely with uh, Ella Jenkins for the last several years, seven years, as a matter of fact, and uh, working on the first ever documentary or, or piece about her life and work. And uh, as Pierce pointed out, Ella started making music for kids in the 50s. She started putting mu uh, records out in the 50s. She started making music with kids in the 40s, actually, and she's still at it today. And I've been working with her capturing her, going through her archives, interviewing people about her work, and it's been a, a fascinating honor and a privilege to, to get to know her and work with her. Wow. And you you were filming that concert that we saw some footage of. We were at the filming start, that, right? that concert. That's right, Wimmy. And the, the gentleman, uh, in one of the musicians playing with him, his name Fred Cook, he was my school yeah. music teacher. And oh, uh, he's that's the so one, cool. He first played Ella's music for me when I was a kid. That is so cool. I love Fred. I know about him and his work. He did a song, a al whole album, Did You Feed My Cow, cover tribute a, songs to Ella. A whole album. Yeah, a great album. Yeah. Hey, so um, what album do you have for us today that we should uh, hear some more about? Well, there are so many great records. Ella has so many records and they're all on a theme and they're, any one of them is worth checking out. But I think one of the easiest to get a hold of, I've got here on, on vinyl, You'll Sing a Song and I'll Sing a Song, which is one of Ella's best known records. You can find it on CD probably at your library. You yeah. Find it on vinyl in your record store. And it has so many great songs, some that Ella wrote, some that she likes to share with kids. And it gives just a great idea of what her music is all about and the connections that she makes with kids and uh, with families and, and everybody, the way that she shares with everyone. I hear you. I love that album. And uh, r roughly speaking, do you have a, even a guess of roughly how many songs Ella's recorded? Oh, gosh. You know, somebody asked me that the other day, and I don't know. It's somewhere near 40 albums that she's she's released along with some other little bits and pieces here and there. So it's, wow. it's a, a lot of work. She's done a lot of work over the years, and it's all wonderful. 
That's so cool. I love it. Well, Tim, thank you for telling us about that particular album and the work you're doing on the documentary. Oh, man. And we're going to play some games. And I was thinking, after the sh- after the show, we'll run the credits in a little while. But then would you and Pierce, and, and can we all hang out and just continue to chat about Ella? I would love to. You, you're going to have to stop me, Wimmy. Oh, <laughs> and friends at home, if they have questions, they could ask us some questions. I love it. So, all right, stay tuned after the credits for that. So, Tim, we'll see you in a little bit because we're going to play some games. <laughs> okay, here's the uh, the game we're going to play right now. The game is called Add to the List. Alrighty, so we're getting us all on camera here, friends. Okay, so um, I'll go first. I'm going to share with you one of my favorite songs of Ella Jenkins. And then um, you guys share your favorite songs, and then we'll go from there. So let's see. Oh, man, you know what? There's, oh, there's too there's too many songs to pick from. Um, I'm going to let Pierce go first. got to keep narrowing it down because like 40 albums, right? So, Pierce, why don't you tell us first what's one of your favorite songs? Well, the song that I just played on that vinyl record is definitely one of my favorites. It's called Pretty Trees All Around the World. Here's a pretty tree now. It's a beautiful song. I love it. I love it. Tim, what's one of your favorite Ella Jenkins songs? It's so hard for me to pick one because there are so many, but I think today from what we've been talking about, what Brad introduced us to and Brody drew, I want to pick No More Andazi or No More Pie. Wait. Oh, no more pie. Wait, we just flew to a concert on a pumpkin pie, though. That's right. <laughs> Shows you how important pie can be. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay, Brody, let's add to the list. What's uh, one of your favorite songs? Well, I think my favorite song would be Jamba. Oh, yeah. What is it that stands out about that song? It's just, it has, like, a really nice beat, and it's just nice to, like, Listen to. Oh, it just feels good, right? Yeah, yeah, it's welcoming. Uh, Brad, add to the list. What's one of your favorite songs? One of mine is You'll Sing a Song and I'll Sing a Song. Off of the album that Tim just mentioned, there's a whole album named or that goes with the name of that song. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, so many good songs. Um, I just, I can't pick. Um, do I have to pick one? Can I say all of them? Every song yeah, is your favorite song. It's totally cool. <laughs> all right. Well, tell you what. Let's put up the list. I guess um, I guess I'll narrow it down. And uh, yeah, the colors of the rainbow. I was it, 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 that one is just uh, you know, uh, it, I, it's, it's the colors of the rainbow. I, 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 I'm gonna break into song, but I shouldn't uh, break into song. So okay. So let's see. Who said which song? No more pie. That was Tim. Using a song. I'll sing a song. That was. Brad, pretty trees all around the world. That was Pierce. Oh, Brody said Jumbo. And I guess if I have to pick one, I guess yeah, I go with I go with the colors of the rainbow. That was so fun. <laughs> we made our list. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, friends, should we do the um? Should we do the find it fast? Are you ready for the scavenger hunt? Friends on camera, friends backstage. It's time for find it fast. <laughs> find it fast. Find something that starts with E. Find something that is musical. Let's see. Find uh, something you play with. Those are the things to find fast. Ella starts with E. Ella is so musical. And musical play. You can find lots of things to play with, whether it's music, games, all the above. Can you find any of these things? Fast. Ah, Brody, what did you find? I found the electric guitar, musical, go to see, and you can play with it. Oh my goodness! An electric guitar, musical, and you can play with it. Ding, 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 ding. The trifecta. Friends at home, what else can you find? Pierce, what did you find? Uh, I found a cool uh, piano, but you know, it doesn't start with E, but there is the key. Oh. E- it is it is an instrument and you absolutely play with it. Wow. Totally works. I love it. Oh man. Friends at home, keep looking. What else can you find? Hmm. Egg starts with E. Elephant. Does anybody have an elephant? 
Let's see what Tim found. Tim, have you found anything? Well, I have, Wimmy. Uh, I looked around and I have an Ella Jenkins kazoo. Oh. It's musical. You can play with it. It's got Ella's name on it. Oh. <laughs> and you've got a poster right behind you that says Ella. Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. Brody. Brody has found. Da, 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 da. Okay, so it's an egg. It's musical. I hear it. And you can play with it. You got two trifectas. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, can you play the electric guitar and the egg shaker at the same time? Ha <laughs> ha. Brad, what have you found? So I have an empty cup. Oh, so empty. Start to empty. Be I get, I'm being creative here. See the cap on this pen? I can yeah. play it. So that's kind that. of an instrument. Yeah, totally. And then I can play, these guys have become my new friends, as you know, I can play with them. <laughs> I love it, Brad. Such good stuff. Oh, man. Anyone else at home want to share something that starts with E, something musical or something you play with? Great job finding it fast. Well, this has been so much fun. We've been having such a great time hanging out, singing, celebrating Ella. Ella is so awesome. <laughs> okay, so um, I think it's time, friends, for the dance party. And then before we do the dance party, though, I want to remind you, if you want to stick around and chat about Ella, Tim and Pierce and uh, Brody and Brad and us, we're just going to we're just gonna chat about Ella. So right now, friends, though, it's time for the dance party, and we're going to dance to none other than music from Ella Jenkins. We've got the start of the song. That is from Ella. So it's the end of the song. It went by too fast. We need more Ella Jenkins. Wimmy's Words is brought to you by Kent District Library and Wimmage, with additional support by these great partners. together oh that was a fun show guys that yeah was fun. hey tim i'm gonna let you kick things off you've been working on this documentary for quite a while what's something that stands out that you've learned or found or just anything random off the top of your head that you might share while friends are watching and asking some questions as we keep chatting well i was thinking about this Wimmy. i think one of the things ella likes to tell people about is that she's performed on um, all seven continents. She's performed for children on all seven continents. So that's North America, South America, help me if I leave one out, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. She's even performed on Antarctica. Something I like to share with people that they may not know about Ella Jenkins is that she has an excellent sense of humor and a razor sharp wit. And we try to make each other laugh every time we get together. Oh, that's so cool. Now, you grew up seeing her in concert. Is that correct, Tim? You know, I don't even, I don't know that I ever saw her in concert before I was an adult, actually. Okay. But I knew her music, and I listened to her yeah. records and sang her songs in school. And growing up in Chicago, in the Chicago area, Ella was known to just yeah. about everybody around town for, gotcha. for generations. Yeah. I Totally. Pierce, what are some of your earliest memories when you first became aware of Ella? 
Yeah, well, my grandmother, Queen Mother Frances Pierce, was a kindergarten teacher in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and she had uh, Ella's final records that she played for her students in class, and she often sang her songs to us as uh, her grandchildren, uh, and was just a very, very creative woman. I think saw Ella Jenkins as as a peer, another black woman, another educator, another creative person in the classroom. Um, and so, yeah, she kind of felt like my, <laughs> my other musical grandma, you know, man, that's amazing. That's amazing. Brad, you were going to maybe share some musical memories or experiences and that may or may not include Ella. Um, what, um, what memories that, that stand out, especially where you grew up? Well, so where I grew up, the drums were made out of hollow tree trunks. So they would hollow out the middle of the tree, and then to make the top of the drum, they would take usually either um, cow hide or goat hide and pull it very taut and tight across the top of the hollowed out tree trunk, and that would become the drum. So it has a very cool sound that I think is a better sound than, dr than uh, factory-made drums. Wow. Man, and reminder of viewers at home where you grew up. So I grew up in the Democratic Republic of Congo. It was Zaire when I was growing up there and in Burundi, and I went to boarding school in Kenya. Wow. So I've just loved hearing your stories about growing up. And Brody, you've been listening to Ella Jenkins' music from some CDs from the library and Jambo, yeah. right? That one you really got into. Um, are yeah. there other songs that you remember, or how do you feel just in general when you listen to Ella's music? Well, I really just feel happy when I listen to her music. Yeah. All right. It's so warm and welcoming, and it just makes you feel like you've known Ella once you start listening to any of her songs, and you feel included. And for us on the show, she's inspired us in so many ways. Um, so let's see, Tim, when can friends expect to maybe hear more about the document? I know it's a work in progress, or anything you want to share about the upcoming documentary and how we can support it, et cetera. You know, folks can visit the website, the Facebook page, the Instagram account for uh, for. Ella Jenkins will sing a song together and follow along as we make progress uh, through the film. Uh, you'll, you'll see it when it's when it's done. And we're, we're, we're working diligently on, on getting it there. Oh, that's, I can't wait. And you're going through all kinds of footage and you've traveled around the country collecting more footage. All kinds of footage, all kinds of travel. Been through Ella's archive, going through a lot of that material too. Uh, and there's just some amazing, amazing things in there. We can't wait to share them in the film. Wow. Well, Pierce, Tim, Brad, Brody, any other thoughts that any of you would like to share as we've been talking about Ella? I put everybody on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to say that um, Ella Jenkins is like my hero. She is a, she, she's my shiro. Um, mm -hmm. She was just so prolific and creative and uh, as I've been listening back to her record starting in the 50s all the way to the present, I've been listening over the past couple of weeks chronologically. That means from beginning to, to the present. And uh, I've really been inspired by the type of topics that she sings about and the way that she interacts with kids. Oftentimes her music, you can hear kids in the background, in the recordings themselves. And she just is like fluent. She's like the kid whisperer. <laughs> and so I've, I've just learned so much from her and appreciate you, Wimi, for um, creating an opportunity for us to celebrate her legacy. Oh, man. Oh, there's Fred. That's Fred. Hey, Fred. Hey, Fred. Oh, Fred is who connected me to Tim and Pierce. This episode was uh, was inspired by when you made a video uh, having fellow musicians say a shout out to Ella. And Fred uh, was in that, right, Tim? T T I don't Fred think was, Fred was Fred in that, but Fred connected oh, no, me to was, Ella. He was in there. Yeah, Fred was jamming. He was. <laughs> you got to go back and check your footage, Tim. <laughs> He's, I'm just kidding. I was just playing. Um. I, right? Fred, Fred. Well, let's Fred, Fred tune in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jim's dancing backstage. The director's, he's, he's dancing. I don't know if you guys see him. He's, he's dancing. Um, 
Well, I here's the thing. I just don't like to stop talking. I like to keep hanging out and um, um you know, I didn't want to stop the, the call. But um okay, so Fred backstage helping us out um or watching at home. Um oh baritone uke, of course. Yeah, he was playing the baritone uke. uke. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> all I right, swear so, I was there. <laughs> I can relate. I'm not even sure where Kevin, are you still around? Silly. Yeah, I'm still here. You should wrap it up though. So okay, okay. Um, well, Pierce, Fred, Brad, Brody, Jim running things backstage, friends at home watching. It's been a pleasure to do this show. And um, we'll see you around. My friends. Oh, you know what we should do before we go? We should all just wave and say, Hi, Ella. Thanks, Ella. And then we can maybe get that to Tim to get to Ella. Sound good? Thanks, Ella. This has been great. Thank you. Love you. Yeah, you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Jim's going to cut us off pretty soon, I have a feeling.